Ryan, what did it mean to bring La La Land back to your home country, especially with the standing ovation you got at TIFF last night? Well, it's always nice to come home. I don't get home enough, and it's always nice to be able to bring something. So it was great to be able to bring this film. And, uh, and uh, yeah, of course, the reception was really, it was very nice. You and Emma have worked together three times now. Talk about the ease or the magic that you two create together. Well, you know, I think Emma and I have always, uh, we've been asked to improvise a lot on the films that we've done, which is kind of rare, I guess. Most of the time you're just, uh, you know, asked to say the dialogue. But even since our first audition for Crazy Stupid Love, we were asked to improvise and we did a lot of improvising in that film and, and in this film as well. So, you know, that just kind of connects you in a way that uh, saying dialogue doesn't. You get to sing and dance in this. Everybody assumes that you had those skills under your belt because you were in the Mickey Mouse um, Club, I believe it was. Um, could you talk about was it a challenge or was it easy for you? Um, well, you know, we had three months uh, and, uh, you know, we had to divide that time between. For me, it was learning these piano pieces and, uh, you know, working on the script and the songs and the dance. But, you know, Three months is more time than you get for most films. Uh, it was, uh, uh, but you know, it was it was fun, honestly, because the the music is so beautiful, and uh, you know, the film was so ambitious that it felt it felt like a, you know, it, it wasn't daunting in any way. It was just a, it was a lot of fun. You're such an established actor. But I was wondering, this movie is so uh, magical. What can you do with music that you can't do with regular dialogue? What does it allow you to do? Well, I think you, uh, you know, it can take you to an emotional place that's that's very hard to get to otherwise. You know, uh, it, more of a universal place. You know, in some ways, uh, you know, that's what's. Uh, what, 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 what was exciting about this was that you know the, the, the rules of of a, of a musical are different in that the way that these characters express each other are, are through dance or through song or through music. So it, it, it allows you to sort of like break convention and just sort of be purely emotional and unapologetic about that. Did you do any research and look at the old musicals like Gene Kelly or Ginger Rogers? I did, yeah. We watched, Damien screened a lot of the films that he was referencing in this, so he would have the crew and the actors watch, um, you know, a lot of these musicals like Umbrellas or uh, Singing in the Rain and American in Paris, uh, you know. So we, we had a pretty good sense of what the film was going to look like because he was, you know, because he was, he was using those as a visual reference as well. And then the last question, you have two lovely girls. Do you sing them lullabies at night? There's, there, there's, there's a fair bit of singing in the house. Has it gotten better after this movie? My singing? <laughs> I don't know. That's a subject for interpretation, I guess. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, thank you. Thank you.